Ooh, we can be excited for this one. We can be excited. First off, I will say that, like, when it comes to Sandy Alex G, I'm not really, um... Not well versed in him. I haven't been like in insanely fond of him. Like my uh, knowledge of him is pretty minimal. Um, but one thing I will say about Alex G in the folk scene is that he like, has made a big name for himself, and I think people who really do enjoy music, um, like have enjoyed like the vast majority of his catalog, like uh, as being relevant. The vast majority of his catalog. Uh, I found out about him in 2017 when that album came out, just listening to. Uh, you know, weekly releases, as I just did, because I'm a crazy person, um, and I that's when I found Alex G with Rocket, uh, and I liked it, I guess I liked it, but it wasn't overly strong, like, I didn't really come back to it, but, um, I think there was a few songs, I think maybe it was Bobby, I remember Bobby being, like, a hit, House of Sugar came out, this one I liked, but I wasn't overly, like, I wasn't insanely big on it, but, damn, three-track run singles with Hope, Southern Sky, and Gretel? Those three songs are some of the finest tracks I've heard. They really are. Gretel being, like, probably my top ten um, favorite songs of that year, to be honest. And I still listen to that um, often. I'd say I listen to House of Sugar often. God Save the Animals, don't know much about it, but I heard that it's good. You know what I mean? Or just that there was enough, um, you know, critical acc acclaim just based off singles. It's now midnight. It just hit midnight. So this is now out. Decent length for a folk project. Let's just get into it. I want to know what the vibes are. song. I will say I think it's kind of cool for Alex to kind of be using this sort of pitched up vocals for this song. Um, very nice acoustic on here, but I would say once that piano kicks in, it's really the piano that sells this song emotively for me the most. Nice little twang of a guitar that comes in, that's also very nice. Drums have this, you know, an impactful hit, but they don't really take uh, uh, force really. Um, it's nice. This is very nice. Relaxing. It hits me very lightly. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, lyrically, let's see what we have here. Um, first off, this hook really being um, After All. So the song's called After All, so um, the main message I'm supposing it is like acceptance of things, acceptance of things in life, not really holding on to emotions that aren't necessary, you know what I mean? Like us putting, burdening our life, like he said, like saying here, people come and people go away. We have to accept things like that in our life. It, it, it can be hard, you know what I mean? Transition, he's almost like it's, he's discussing a transitory state, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like people in the past are not in the now, you know what I mean? And there's new people coming in, you have to accept that. But then again, there is like a religious element to this, like God with me, he stayed. So, and when I think about God too, outside of a religious concept, uh, context, for instance, um, you, you know, God is you, God is all of us, right? So finding that inner love within ourselves too, you can also think about it this way, that inner love for yourself, um, or finding that peace, 
stays with you. That's sort of like that relation with God, maybe. Or at least that's how I'm trying to read it here. Um, there are rooms where I can't hang my head. There are tears that I can't cry. In the years you feel the most alone, you'll build the walls I climb. Okay, so there's a situation here. Um, there are rooms where I can't hang my head. There's situations where you can't, um, I don't know, feel that sort of pity you have for yourself. You have to kind of um, hide it, hide the hide those emotions in a way. But there are tears that I can't cry. It's like almost if there's like situations that you don't want to think about or you are holding on to emotions in a way. Um, and then again, holding on to emotions and then feeling alone. Someone's feeling alone and someone's building walls. So again, there's then, then there's a situation where it's talking about someone else. Someone else putting out walls, someone else being defensive, someone who is being very alone. But you trying to break those defenses. Um, and it almost feels like maybe you're trying to break these defenses based off of the, you know, philosoph like philosophical um, ex acceptance you've had in your life. Like when you see people in that sort of state, you think about, you know, your own life. Um, you know what I mean? You put yourself in those shoes, sort of. Um, and then saying, like, were you young when you lost your innocence? Did the world feel so unkind? Well, the years have passed, and I can say that a love will come in time. That is very a very hopeful line, and I, I think that's very beautiful. Um, again, trying to discuss, you know, you grow up, you become an adult, and we can look at the world in a very pessimistic way. Um, of course, there's optimism to, ha to be had, but when you look at the grand scale of things, there's always bad things happening, or um, um, we can witness a lot of negativity day in, day out from other people. Um, but I think ending it out with, like, you know, it's not always going to be like that for you, or like your, your, your thought process won't always be like that, like, you will find love, um, that's cute, that's cute, I like the lyricism in this too, because it feels like all-encompassing, you know what I mean, it's very, uh, it's quite deep, uh, it's quite meaningful, like, life-affirming, okay, let's go to the next song. <laughs> So I think that is kind of impressive to use those last 15 seconds or something like that for that one. Okay, a little bit more energetic than the first song, but you're still definitely feeling that like folk vibes. Um, drum has a little bit of more of a punch, but again, it's still a very light song. Really relying on like being a more of a hooky nature compared to the f first song. Um, like I feel, it, I don't know, needs a re-listen, but I do feel like being left in that like repetitive state with this one. Um, I'm not feeling as, um, as focused. Um, again, that's not always the case just because the song is catchy, but that was just my experience with this one. But I want to know lyrically what I'm getting into, so let's see what we're getting into here. Um, you know, Alex G already discussing, he wants to be around people who he can open himself up to. Um, yeah, 
Okay, fair enough. Who don't judge for what I say, but judge me for what I do. So he wants things to be real, basically. He wants things to be genuine. He wants genuine connections with people. Um, I don't really know what he's saying, but my runner, my runner, my man. That's the person he looks up to, some person. Um, okay, this person's very nice to you. They hit you with a rolled up magazine. Know your trigger like the back of my hand. And then he does discuss that he's done a couple bad things. And then the loaded up line, again, yeah, the loaded up line is like the most important or the most repeated here. Hmm, this seems like a weird friendship or a weird connection, right? Know your trigger. Like you're knowing this person's trigger like the back of your hand. Um, so again, you're saying you know this person, you know how to get into this person's feelings or person's buttons as, as well as you know yourself. So you, you, you certainly feel very close to this person uh, and you feel like you're in a privileged position with this person, you know what I mean? Like you really like this person, um, but at the same time you are, you are seeing yourself, um, I don't know, as maybe, I don't know. Again, you're saying like, oh, I want someone who will judge me in the correct way. Then you're saying you've done a couple bad things. And then you're also saying that you're not going to like tell anyone about like a couple grand being rolled up in their pocket. So I don't know. There's there's like this sharing of things in this connection in a way. I wouldn't say, I don't know really the lengths of what this immorality that's being discussed. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's pretty good. I, I prefer the first song still out the gate, but it's, it's good. emotional not at, like I feel like runner had a, a little bit more of a popular element to this one this one also has it, it kind of cuts in with a little bit of a country vibe um, I like this one I already I really like this one this is a very smooth project so far I'm not really having too many problems with this one okay lyrically I want to see what the vibe is I've run the whole world round too late to slow down now I'm not the man you've been missing okay see so I don't know uh, or maybe a romantic position with someone, but you're too busy with your life, or you're just like, you don't want to slow down your life, right? And like, you're avoiding any of this, like, emotional attachment, really. Um, again, and then you say, I was trying to stick to the mission, I was trying to keep it on track. So you're saying, this is not what my life is about, you know what I mean? Like, this is what I've learned. What I've learned is that I just have to keep doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I can't think about anything else or, you know what I mean? You don't have that type of structure um, to really think about other things in that same degree. I was asleep like a child. Uh -huh. I walked the idiot mile. I flinched at the switchblade switching. So a being asleep like a child is definitely, a, a, you know, he was in a the state of vulnerability. Walking the idiot mile is a, you know, a state of you know, you get so far into something and then realize how foolish it was later, a uh, situation, right? But then he's saying, like, uh, the situation of, like, he is doing good, you know what I mean? Or, like, he, he may have the ability to mess up. Like, and maybe this, too, like, this, I flinched, you know what I mean? Like, he, he has the ability to get caught up in a fear, in a way, um... 
But then this, I think this is funny. Hey, look in the mirror, and this is someone else singing this. Look in the mirror, ain't gonna write you wrong with a stupid love song. So kind of suggesting that maybe this work of art or even this writing of things, as beautiful as it is, it's not a end all be all um, to what's really gonna make you feel whole in a way. You know what I mean? It, that can't be everything. That can't be everything. Your mission, it that can't it can't just be that, basically. Um, that's sort of what I'm figuring with this one. It's it is kind of um again, feeling like after all has much more of like a it connects with many people, but mission here, it can, but I really feel the personal element to this song and the way it's written. Like, I really do feel this it, coming from an internal struggle. Not one that really criticizes themselves, but is just trying to have the sense of self awareness um, to say, like, you know, that recognizing your wrongs basically. Um, loving what you do, but recognizing that you still have flaws, you know what I mean? Um, that are outside of this. Uh, that you can't always give the amount of time that you need to. Okay. A bit of a more hip-hop here, uh, drum here. feeling too many ways about S-D-O-E-S, like, I don't know, it doesn't hit me too much. That second, like when the vocals kind of come in, uh, like two minutes in, it's cool, it's creative, but then I'm still feeling like, okay, it's missing, kind of missing something. Um, again, him to putting, bringing religion in this again, right? God is my designer, Jesus is my lawyer, so, um, all right. I don't know if I ever recall him kind of going into that element, element like religious element. Again, this is called God Save the Animals. Don't know how the animals come into play on this album right now, but, um, okay. It's not too bad. I, as a song with not a lot of lyricism, it's I like it a lot more than SDOS. I think um, I'm liking this message of my teacher as a child with a big smile, no bitterness. That just being those uh, lyrics. First off, just saying like I'm learning the most from just the energy that a child with a big smile gives me. You know what I mean? Like it's just so outside of this. Um, conflict that humans can have with each other like internally like it's like that is the state of being that I want to fall into more with my life so uh, yeah cool 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 cool
symbols. Woo. I love the whisper in it. Do you see how this is the best song on here so far? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Ain't It Easy is right away, this song hits me the quickest, like, you know what I mean? Like, not feeling like I'm having as much reservations, it's just like a little bit of an echelon above the other ones I've heard here. Really liking this one. I feel the emotions of it, feels a little bit moodier though, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, I don't really want to, I can't really categorize this one under like the folk genre a little bit. It has much more of a, a grit to it, not really grit, but, um, okay, lyrically... Come home to me, reruns on TV, now you sit with me, I keep you safe, and you listen to me every day. Um, okay, so... That's sort of like a wholesome little moment he's trying to discuss. Like, just like, not one of those like memorable moments in a relationship, but that, because it's not memorable, uh, is what makes it memorable. Like, that's what he's trying to really uh, attach to this... Uh, scenario like sort of those little um, romantic thoughts that kind of come to your head or you're in one of those types of moments kind of uh, I'm feeling season premiere I have no more fear no more judges no more medicine let me talk to you and take you in okay so something within this relationship is like these there's not really like walls is what he's really trying to say say right but then lyrically what does it get into here um, I should have known that you had lost control working every night until the dawn find you sleeping with the headlights on Okay Very interesting relationship, right? Like there seems to be um, And again you talking like and you listen to me every day, right? And then you're saying like I keep you safe. I think the interesting part about this um, Is you wanting to keep this person safe, right? But you're suggesting they've lost control you know, falling asleep in their car because they're too tired, right? Um, so it's like you're blaming yourself. That's why I'm saying I should have known, right? So like th this uh, song starting with a moment like that where you think everything's okay, but it's not. And sort of having that conflict where you don't feel like you're doing everything you can um, to protect um your significant other, right? Um, but in, in a way, right, th and again, this almost makes me feel like it's like living under uh, capitalism or, you, you know, living under the stress of having to survive, right? Regardless, this person is doing their half that's, uh, you know, uh, in many ways still separate from you. Um, you can't be fully involved um, and how this person lives their life 100% or you can't always actually be aware of it um, It'd be interesting to see this type of song From the perspective of this partner though, you know what I mean like kind of have both sides of it Because um, you are really only seeing the one angle here, but I, I think Yeah, this is good. I, I like the song Because it has the 90s vibe and then it doesn't. I crossed the sea, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't leave it to me.
Okay, this song is an interesting one. Again, like discussing. Fall on my knees, crawl on my knees, I cross the sea, you can leave it to me. Like really taking, like, you know what I mean? Like climbing off of the pedestal or really taking a, a hit almost. Um, but then saying that you'll do the most though, you know what I mean? Like you'll really go far. Um, across the field for my baby, you can believe in me, yeah. You can believe in me, right? But then it's like you take care of me, you take care of me, you take care of me. Like says that a lot. Um, so it is, it is an interesting song, or like the the vulnerability is maybe too far. It's almost lovesick, you know what I mean? Like it's very unrealistic. Um, but then really honing in on this "you take care of me" uh, element. Um, he's like, you see how I make you smile. So like you see. Um, that I'm trying, like I want to um, put you in a certain uh, mood. Um, but then, yeah, he likes the dominance from her. Um, you see now that nothing is uh, final, I cut myself into vinyl. Hmm. Right. Um, trying to make, again, and when you think about something like vinyl, like a physical product like that, uh, that feels more permanent, right? Like trying to make your emotions sort of permanent with through through art, kind of. Yeah, this is a cute little song, um, cute little love song here. Um, that kind of it does kind of show it makes the emotions feel more real, or or is at least too showing another element uh, or a different layer. So I think when he wants to discuss something romantic on this um, project. There's different layers. Very modest mousy here. Okay, very weird, moody, aesthetic vocally here. Um, okay, first off, every day is a blessing as I walk through the mud. So first off, right, like saying life's a blessing, but then discussing you were saying this at a really shitty moment. You know what I mean? Like you were not in a good position, but you were suggesting that every day is a blessing. And of course, it's weird how he says it because he says it in such a like a dark way. Um, if I live like the fishes, I'll rise like the from the flood. You can't drown if you're a fish. Like I'm thinking about in life. Um, weird. I'm not full on about that one, but weird. Okay. It's a very cool album. Not gonna lie.
a this is a pretty cute song. Not really having too many problems with this one. I think what really sells this song um, is its instrumental backing. I think there's a lot of stuff going on. I really like when the strings come in. Um, piano sometimes becomes louder or really strikes out. Um, and vocally, I think there's just a lot of um, cute little notes that Alex hits here for sure. Early morning waiting though. Like I I think he's like. Uh, there's like a lot of like what ifs or like thinking about the past or um, thinking about the future, just thinking about life as a whole or in in the morning. Um, but he says it in a very um, in a way where like when they have this type of um, uh, like you know I don't know how long they're in the morning waiting, right? But this is like an isolated moment. You know what I mean? Like these things may not come into play later in that day. It's like before you actually start your day in a way. Like this is um, uh, sort of what what's occurring. Um, look, thinking about memories. Um, you know, half of love, half of death, so, you know, really thinking about very important uh, human uh, things. Haven't I given enough? When will I run out of love? Was it was I wrong to call his bluff? Hmm. Reaching for your cigarettes, though. So, maybe this person laughed or something like that, too? Like, it's... I don't know. You think that would work? a weird one. I think it's very, it kept me in the state for the most part, very, a little bit of a more clunky nature to it. Um, vocals being like pitched up again, very weird. Um, life of revolu uh, revelation catching up with me. Weird, I don't know, this person's, whatever they're doing is like not fun. Um, right, go to bed at midnight, waking up at three, they're not getting any sleep. Um, I have to put cocaine in the vaccine, walk out of the doctor with immunity. So almost feeling like, again, cocaine, immunity, drug use, you're immune to like, you know, the bad shit happening to you, right? Life of revolution, or revelation catching up with me, so, you know, you can't escape anymore, right? You can't escape by just like, um, thinking through things, or like figuring things out in your head. Um, accident in Kansas, so something happens, you know, he, I think this life revolution caught up with, with him, um, and all he can say really, like he's being avoidant of really telling the truth with this person, but he is saying that he's in love with them, um, okay. So a very weird relationship at least, this person is very, um, you know, wants to keep, like they hide things from this person. Shame almost.
like it more than STOS, maybe, but STOS still stands out more than, like, you know what I mean? Catches my ear, like, okay, I don't think I've fully heard this before. Like, this album is so all over the place to me, t to be honest, um, with feeling, um, which is good, you know what I mean, just in the sense of, like, you are having an experience, um, back, front to back, right? It works in, uh, in the sense of being an album, so I see great waves coming our way, beautiful sunsets on Lost and Lonely Days, um, things in the, in the past, uh, sorry, things in the future are going to be good, um, like, beautiful sunsets on Lost and Lonely Days. What I like about that, though, maybe is saying, like, no matter what happens, we're going to have those days that, um, you know, we're sad or we're thinking, of, you know, we're stuck in our head and there's still beautiful sunsets on those days. You know what I mean? Like, suggesting that, you know... If you had the opportunity to look back in your life at days that you had that were really shitty, um, and then, you know, kind of realizing, um, yeah, kind of realizing that it wasn't like that. You know what I mean? Infinite Futures become a single past. Everybody whimpers. Everyone whimpers, nobody lasts. Everyone whimpers, nobody lasts. So, no one really dies like a king is what he's trying to say, uh, in a way, like, at the end, like, we're kind of, all kind of go out the exact same way, it's not, like, it's just not pretty, um, I'm assuming, and then kind of come into this, like, having a kid issue, but then, like, you know, kind of feeling like, um, you were having your own personal struggles that you can't keep up with where you need to be with your partner, um, but you're certainly in a position where you want this. Um, you really do want this, and you really do feel like, um, what you have is stronger than anything could be. Um, very interesting to talk about, like, how many songs am I supposed to write before I should turn them off and say goodnight? Uh, feeling like you, maybe, uh, you're stuck in a, a rut, because you're just continuing to do the same thing in a way that you're... Maybe not finding the new some some new feeling that you're trying to gain from this. Like when is this actually over? Maybe I don't know. Hmm. And then discussing with this person though, like you know him discussing his vulnerabilities, like not being ready to have a kid, but then her also um, discussing vulnerabilities. You know what I mean? You know, saying that you know I, there's still things that I haven't like mentally come to accept from my past, and he kind of comes in and says like. I pray for the children, the sinners, and the animals, too. So, this album already being called, right, God Save the Animals, like, feeling like he is in this position where he, he wants her to know, um, I don't know, like, how much he cares, in a way, about everything. Um, you know what I mean? But he isn't saying it's about, about her fully, right? Like, he is saying, like, there's so much beauty in the world that... I wish we could all, um, you know, could be protected, 
You know what I mean? It's very difficult, especially just with his partner. He, you know what I mean? Things he can't control. Already discussing in the prior song that he can't control things that happen or that this partner is dealing with. And here, this is just another uh, example of that. Okay, final song. Uh, like it's got a uh, beat it's very uh, much more like less emotional much more in your face just a little bit it's not too crazy right you still feel a folk vibe with this but like lyrically too or even like even holding on those notes uh, I feel lyrically this is like an optimistic way to end this project again feeling like on this album lyrically even though it's not really tight when it comes to like um uh, very personal, um, but you get these shades of emotions that he's really trying to tell. A lot of songs about about relationships or this, uh, you know, back and forth with a, with a partner, slightly like sharing of emotions. Um, but this last song here, I think it is kind of interesting to end this off. Forgive yesterday, I choose today, right? Like having so much indecision or, or just sitting and living in the past. You know what I mean? And and, and you know what I mean? And just n this unsure nature about your future, even an unsure nature about Alex G's career, you know, when he, when he discusses his music on this album. He, he discusses it in a very odd way. It's, it doesn't really come with excitement, but it comes still with this confusion, uh, almost like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I've been doing it for this long. Um, is there something I'm missing from my work? Uh, it's very interesting to me. Um, but I choose today, so finally deciding to move forward, no stories, no mirrors, I choose, taking control, taking control, no mirrors, right, he's not, it's not the reflection, uh, to be looking at, right, because we all know that our reflection is, um, a biased image of ourselves, right, uh, we build, building, Castle upon castle upon castle about, uh, upon air. So building, right, like growing something, right? So I, I do think that this is a great way to end this uh, project. This is a great emotion um, to end this. God save the animals. What do I think about this on first go? Eight. Eight. Um, eight and a half? I don't know. Maybe an eight and a half later on. Uh, on first go, I just feel like it's it's certainly um, as an album, it's structured very well. Um, ver various um, sounds to this, of course, it really does stick you in a folk vibe a lot of the time. But then some, uh, a handful of these tracks have these pitched vocals. There's like synth moments, um, even maybe more of a. But there was a few songs where I was feeling like a light. There's a slight emo -ness to this as well. Yeah, I'd have to go back to those other projects, right? But out the gate, I'm really impressed with this project. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I, I, I just feel like even if I'm not getting something insanely 
deep to like who Alex G's character is because again when it comes to folk music I think folk music is really able to do that but regardless I can tell that he's wearing his heart on his sleeve here you know what I mean like this is um, an authentic project I feel it's authentic uh, authenticity um, and I, I do feel like he wants to be a vulnerable person even in a way that's um, you know maybe a little negative you know what I mean? Um, but he's honest. Like, you can feel his honesty. Yeah, this is good. I'm going to give it a few more spins uh, as I need to. Um, especially with Alex G, I feel like it takes a, uh, just a few spins and it, it can kind of uh, uh, crack open a little bit more. Um, so I appreciate that. Ooh, 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 ooh. God save the animals here. Alex G, I, I've listened to it a few more times and... Honestly, once I, I listened to it the second time, I, I um, already was feeling quite familiar with the tracks. Instead of this being an 8, I think this is going to be a 9, actually. This is one of the best projects I've heard this year. It's a very relaxed, laid-back, emotive folk project, which consistently kind of blends genres, um, um, again, emotively, though, for creative effect. Um love the pitched uh, vocals in here love um how um just like specific moments that kind of stand out maybe like a synth moment at the end of one of these songs or songs that aren't really um working on some like uh front to back storytelling like folk storytelling um not really going to go into the narrative of this because i didn't really uh worry about that on multiple listens but obviously in that first listen understanding who Alex is trying to be uh, as a character um, someone who is certainly dealing with enough um, depression you know what I mean or um, trying to find again discussing on one song trying to find their mission but definitely uh, being someone who maybe is overthinking that idea or or is still lost you know what I mean like them being this artist is not enough to find the answers, right? And knowing what being this artist means for the future, they seem very unaware of that. Um, yeah, I love this. I love this. I will say the first half of this is better than the second half. I will say that. Um, but it's it's so consistent, that first half, too. Um, yeah, I love this. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Happy... Um, and this is going to be my favorite Alex G that I've heard. Uh, I'm making me feel like going back to the other stuff or, you know, stuff I haven't heard. But yeah, it was great. It's great. It's beautiful. Uh, if you want to see me react to anything, anything at all, put a comment down below and uh, thank you for watching. Peace.